In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio website. And one of the nice things about this is that we're using a pre-made template. So you don't actually have to write any code yourself. And most of the design and layout work is already set up for you. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using the business plan on Hostinger. Um, so I will show you how all this works. But this package allows you to have up to 100 websites, 200 gigabytes of storage space, and probably some of the best features of this package is the AI driven parts. So there's AI image generators, uh, AI content writers, things like that. So all of these things just take the labor out of making a website and you can utilize these tools to get up and running really quickly. And right now there is a Black Friday sale happening. So you get the best price on web hosting. So this is probably the ideal time to purchase if you do want to buy web hosting. As you can see here, we're getting about an 80% discount on the original price. You can also get an additional discount using my coupon code DavidB, and I'll include a link to that in the video description below. So that gives you an additional discount on top of the sale price to give you like the best possible price at this point in time. The next part of this video will happen within the dashboard once you've created your account. And once you arrive on the dashboard, you will see this website section on the left. And I've got this web hosting plan set up here already. Um, so the first thing we need to do then is just to pick the Hostinger website builder under this drop down menu. So this will take us to uh, a screen that gives us two different options here. We have the ability to create an, a website directly from AI. So it will do everything for you. But in this video, I'm going to use the pre made templates. So this pre made templates are already set up with all the content for us. And we can browse and pick whichever style of template that we want. So this is a nice way to just skip all of the uh, effort and setting everything up by yourself. Um, and in, in this video, I'm going to focus mainly on doing this for a portfolio website. So just to give you an idea of uh, what kind of content we're creating. Um, but there are lots of different designs here that you can choose from. So some travel related, some uh, product related, etc. Um, but I'm going to go to the portfolio and resume sections to browse how they look. There are lots of really nice templates here to choose from. Um, I think that there is something to suit everyone almost here. Uh, but I think for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go with this one in the top right. It looks a little bit more design led. Um, I like the space and the color and the layout and everything. So I'm going to use this one. And I think we can tweak this a little bit. but. Uh, this is just a preview at the moment. If you like the template, then you can click the Start Building button to use this template as your website. So it's got lots of things here like uh, quotes that stand out. There's a like a testimonial section. There's a contact form. Uh, we have social links and contact links at the bottom. And you can also test it in mobile view to just preview. Got this little menu. Um, I think overall this looks very simple and nice and it does what we need. So we're gonna use this one for our template. And now we're taking to the template editor. Um, and straight away here you can see that if we hover these different components or elements, we can click on them and edit them. So I'm gonna change this text. Um, I'm going to keep the same heading style, but I'll just change the actual text itself. And I'm going to use the example of a graphic designer for this video. Um, so that's what our theme template is going to be based on. Each of these elements on the page can all be edited and modified. Um, in this case, I'm going to change the text on this button. So let's make this a contact me button. And I'm going to take this image on the right. So this image, we want to change that. And if you click the edit image, you can replace this image. Um, there are some images already in this template, but you can also go to the free images section at the top. So all of these free images are being pulled in from Unsplash. So that is a royalty free image uh, library. So you can actually just use these without having to pay for them. Like they're completely free and it's uh, completely legit to do it. So you can just use them in your, your portfolio site uh, without any issues. The one thing I would say here is that you can spend a lot of time browsing these images and it really is hit and miss whether like the quality is up to what you're looking for. But 
Uh, if you get the search term right, you can really narrow it down and find an image that makes sense for your website. Um, so I'm just going to pick an uh, example image to replace the top of our page. So now once this image appears on the page, it's already got the same formatting. It's got the rounded edges that we had before. And I think this looks really nice. It fits with the style of the, the website we're trying to create. And you can actually change different font styles and colors and things in here for the whole site. Um, but I'm going to leave that for now, but just to show you that it is there if you want to do that. I want to change the color of this, this uh, contact me button. Um, so again, just click the edit and this time we go to style. And you can see that got this fill color. Uh, we can just change this to maybe like a green color. So we can play around with the little color picker until you get a color that you're happy with. And then we should also change the border color. So make that green too. And we can set a border radius, a corner radius on this. So it's round, round the edges of this button. Um, you will notice that there's like a hover effect there. So we need to change that too. Let's go back to our style section. Uh, there's a hover tab. And we want to make this green also. increase this border radius so it looks much nicer and you got the little hover effect now so all of this is quite simple and straightforward to do uh, we don't actually have to write any code for this or any styling at all it's just uh, all done via like these little drop down menus and pop up menus within the editor itself so it's pretty nice so now I'm going to tweak this about me section you can change the background color within the styles so I'm going to set it to a black background and then make the text white just to show how we can do that. So clicking on the text then we can edit and we can change the color on the very left. Make this white so that it stands out. Let's do the same for the skills on the right side. Underneath this we have three different images lined up and we can actually change those images just by clicking on it and replacing the image. But I do want to do something a little bit different here. So um, one thing that we can do is change the style. Um, so that allows us to change the position of the image, uh, even an overlay opacity. We could also take this one step further. And, and since we are doing a graphic design layout, we could introduce a shape here to maybe like um, apply some unusual styling to the images to make it a little bit more unique. Uh, I think this is a nice concept, especially for a graphic design portfolio. Um, so I'm going to go with some different shapes for these images. And we can also change the images itself within the free images section. So browsing these uh, unsplash images. So this looks quite interesting. So let's pick this one. And we'll change the shape also. So we have an opposite style shape at the bottom right here. So let's pick this. And we'll do this once again for the final image. So now we've got all of these images and they have all been styled um, so I think this looks very nice. You can also add your own sections. There is this little uh, button that appears between sections. And once you click it, you can pick different layouts. So let's update the text. And you can just put any text you want here. And then we have a button underneath as well, a call to action. Um, so we could style this and change the text or change the link that it points to even. There's lots of uh, ways we can update this. Um, so I'm going to go with the same color of uh, button that we had at the top of the page. So it's this green color. And we'll update the hover effect as well. And let's reduce the corner radius a little bit. Keep it similar. 
And you can even scale the button just like by changing its height or its width uh, using the little uh, dragging icon around the button. Um, so let's change the text on this. So scrolling down to this code, uh, I want to change the background color on this. You can just experiment with it. And then we'll add an additional section directly above that. These have all been pre-created, so it's just dropping in a template. And then we can change the text within this template that we've picked. Um, so I'm just going to change the heading under each of these sections, just to show you as an example. Uh, we can just change the text quite easily. We can also change the font style and everything, but uh, I don't want to mess around with that too much. Now at the bottom of the page, uh, let's add a new section. Um, we can add a lot of different things here, like maps, uh, contact forms, testimonials. But what I'm looking for right now is projects. So I'm going to add a project section at the bottom of the page. So this one will do. So now let's replace the images within this project section using these free Unsplash images. I'm going to choose this camera. And for the second one, we'll also update this image too. So click the Edit Image button, replace image and free images again. And now we've inserted both of these images. It's a good point to go and check out our website and see how everything looks. So I'm going to click the Go Live button, the top right of the screen, and I'm going to view the site. Let's click on the View Site link. And we can look at all of the changes that we've made. So we've got this new image and this new section at the top. Uh, we've changed this background color. We've changed the shapes of these images. And we've added this new section with the text. And then at the bottom, we haven't touched this section, but at the bottom, we've added this Why Hire Me section. And then at the very bottom, we have also added a new section for projects with images. Um, so there's a lot of things we've been changing here. You can really take it much further than this. You can change this background of the bottom section even if you want. Um, but overall, this is looking quite nice so far. You will see at the top we have these links and they are all internal links of that same page. So we just have this one page and these all jump to those sections. Um, what we could do is add additional links here if we wanted. Um, and we can do that on the left navigation. So we can add additional pages uh, pages and links to this navigation bar. There is an option to add a link at the bottom right of this, this navigation menu. And you'll see that there is a section. You can link to a section. And that's what we want to do. Um, but when we pick the section, we don't have it listed here. And the reason for that is that we haven't named that section. So let's go back to the sections that we've added. And we can set a name for them, and then they should appear within this list. So let's do that first. So we click on the section that we've added, and you will see that we have this option for anchor, and it starts with a hashtag. So what we need to do here is add a name after this hashtag, and that will be the section of the page that we can link to. So just make up a name for this, and we'll do this for each of the sections. So scroll down to the Hire Me section. And we'll go to the anchor again. And then one last time. So now that we've done this, we can go back to the navigation menu. We'll add the link again. And now we should have each of these sections in this list. So let's just pick each of these and add them to the menu. And at the top, we can set the name that will appear in the navigation menu. So we'll call this link projects. And we can also drag and drop these to change their position within the menu. And so I'm going to drag them above uh, just to sort them. Um, and then we'll save this and we'll check it out. One thing to note here is that you also need to publish the changes after you save them. So if you don't do that, uh, it won't reflect on the live website. Um, so now that we've saved this and published it, uh, we can see that these new items have been added to the navigation menu. 
And if we click one of these links, it will take us to the appropriate section of that page. One really cool feature of this website builder is the AI integrations, and you can get those directly on the left side of the page. Um, we have things like the AI writer, image generator, page generator, and section generator. Um, it can also create blog content and SEO content. Um, so we're going to experiment with this a little bit. This creating an entire page using AI. And we've got some examples here of what we could uh, input into this description in order for us to get the kind of page that we want to create. Um, so I'm just going to follow the example that has been given to us here. So we'll write out a quick description that suggests that we want to create a page that is describing the design services that we offer and how they will benefit our customers. So AI will do all of this in the background for us. And once it's ready, then we'll just be taking directly to that page. So you can see that this happens quite quickly in the background. Um, and it all automatically populates these images, the headlines, the paragraph text and the buttons and everything. Um, so let's have a quick look through this. Uh, I think layout wise, it's quite nice. Sometimes AI can be a bit verbose. It, it creates too much text, but you can see here that the, we've only got quite short descriptions, which is nice. I'm just going to tweak these images to make it look a little bit, uh, a little bit better. And I'll also make a minor update to the text. Uh, so the description was a little bit strange there. Uh, I want to change these customer feedback design and just to show how you might do that. Uh, so we can just click on these little stars and we can change the color. And we can change the background of this, this block. Make that black. And then we can change finally the color of the text on top. So you can tweak all of these things. You can customize all of the colors and styles of everything. Um, so it's very flexible in that way. You can even bold this text to make it stand out more. So it looks pretty nice. And finally, we can also change the background of this bottom section, this, this footer of the page, and the text itself too. So all of this is customizable. These headings make these a darker color. And then finally, we will just save this and publish it. So we've made quite a lot of changes to this page, but it does look really nice now. I think this is a very easy way to build a portfolio website and it's all done within the actual editor. You can see everything in real time. So that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys have found this helpful. And if you want to make your own website using the AI website builder, then make sure to take advantage of the link in the video description to get an additional discount off your web hosting at Hostinger. Aside from that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.